All right, welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalist 4. Somebody requested I go take a look around the world. So let's see what the important nations of the world are uh, doing. Well, as people pointed out, the Elpier kids have lost quite a bit of land of the war kids here. Um, not that I can do anything about that. I could, uh, rival them, though. It'll cost me some power. But I guess i do it sooner rather than later. You might as well. Right now I rival Uzbek and Byzantium. Although, the fact that i rivaling Byzantium doesn't actually help me at this point because I don't border them anymore. Uh, I do get some stuff for Uzbek until they get killed anyway. <laughs> um, Alfie's expanded into Greece and they're becoming the new Byzantium basically. Uh, and Lucia's not finished killing Spain, or Castile I should say. Toulouse's strengthened its hold on southern Italy and Lancaster has become one of the prime candidates for potentially forming England, if that's even a thing that you can do. Um, and it looks like we've got basically three competitors for for Great Britain now. Uh, and England is largely Protestant now, as is Ireland, Scandinavia, and France. Also Northern Germany, I guess. The oh, Cumani is Mazdaki. I probably did notice that. The Immortals are doing strong up in uh, Russia, well, Eastern Russia, while Muscovy is getting its head kicked in by Smolensk. Actabi is losing to everyone. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Looks like, other than that, that's what we're looking at. Uh, I can't really tell what the situation is looking like in Asia. Since I don't really pay attention all that much to what it looks like normally. Uh, aside from in India, where Nepal has basically overrun Western or Eastern India, and Tibet has started. It actually has a coastal province, which is weird as hell. Whatever. Assam was the dominant thing there, and then they got killed. Uh, we got our two Indian bros over in here, Punjab and Kashmir. And we are about to go to war with Uzbek, I think. Since I think we have a mission to attack them? Yep, we do. Okay. And we're currently at war with Abyssinia, but that's not really of any consequence whatsoever. Uh, there's a reason we got guys here, yep. Yes, there is. So let's just move these units over. I can park a dude there. Okay. You can stay there. Um... Let's not spend any of my power, because I'm going to need to be coring these provinces once things are done. Yeah, one of these nice things, one of the nice things about these, uh... Oh, it's doing that again. About, um... Getting the missions to attack rivals is that it, it can give you some admin power or military power it, it's it's admin power to claim their provinces I think maybe I'm not sure <clears throat> I'll have to check that let's get rid of these galleys um, that many galleys is not good enough to fight anything <coughs> and because they're purely combat ships they're not doing me any good. 
I guess let's build some... Uh, some more light ships over here. How many can I afford? Six. Okay. Sometimes when you load the game, it does that. I don't know. I guess so it's when you load it from a uh, previous save while you're still playing. I was checking something and had to do that. Okay, whatever. I don't really need to see that. So get some diplomats free. Um... Well, that was fast. I'm currently already doing that. Improving my relations with them. Uh, I need to save one if we're actually declaring war. attached to this unit. Sure. I suppose no time like the present. Yeah, don't do that. Awful lot of cannons over there. <laughs> um, how close am I to... My next admin idea. Oh, I'm gonna have to core a bunch of provinces, so I'm not that close. Okay. Although these should be pretty cheap. Alright. Oops. Declare war. Now, something I never brought up before is that, uh, even though I have claims on all these provinces, I still want to use the Holy War causes Belay because, uh, number one, it gives me more prestige. You can see it's 125% prestige. The same amount of aggressive expansion and the same amount of cost. Um, for something like, like Reconquest or, or something like that, it, would, it might be cheaper as far as cost points, but for just playing Conquest, Holy War is just cheaper. Um, and if we win 80% of our battles, at least, uh, we will get some ticking war score, which is also nice. So, that's what we want to need to do here. No reason to try to call any of our allies. We've got this just fine. Alright. Kind of spread things out a little bit. Our mission is for this province, I believe. Yes. Actually, we can uh, split this unit. Instead, We'll attack them before splitting up here. And that should be it. Yeah, war over. Oh, 
Oh, looks like Muscovy is getting eaten. Oh, I guess that's not really productive to try to move it from the province it is in to the province it is in. I suppose I could have spent some points to get, uh, I do have some, Dude, can I build docks or anything? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Let's build some docks over here. Hmm. I believe the next, yeah, the next thing is a, an idea group. I suppose this guy's not really necessary over here. Hi, Kurdistan. I'm not going to want this province. Or this province, for that matter. Do not attach to this unit. These provinces here... I don't know. Um... Is it possible to sell Turkestan to these guys? They got an administrator thing, so probably not. 90% war score. Land technology research useless. I'll lose the prestige, actually. Whatever. I think we're pretty far ahead as far as military tech goes on a yearly basis. And yeah, nine years ahead. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can get out of this. Let's take our claims. It's overextension that's going to put me at. Not a lot. These are cheap provinces. Yeah, full annexation would only give me 88. Um, and there's nobody I can release that'll actually do anything substantial. Apparently they can release Siberia, but that's all the way up there. And I don't want any money. Um, there's not really anything else possible to get out of that, so go ahead and do that. So what do we get for a mission now? In our rival's province, Taraz. We'll get some military power for that. We'll go ahead and do that. You can get out of there. They already were. So Oh. <clears throat> Pretty cheap. Fifteen. So that cost me a hundred and five to to <laughs> to start coring five provinces. Oh. Well, let's check to see here. Oh and I discovered the eyebrow. They'll buy this. I don't think so. I think I think they should always want to buy provinces that have their name in it. Absolutely not. Now why is that? Why are they saying no?
No strategic interest. Oh, hey, cool. Missionary things. Does that give me enough to actually... Nope. Well, still too low. And of course we don't have a missionary guy. Oh well. Oh. Now you should get out of there. Go here. And you should probably go here to prevent rebellions up there. Of course, we're going to want to convert them after this, obviously. So we have unbalanced units over here. Not really looks all right. And this one has like all the cannons. Yeah, that's fine though. Oh, Abyssinia has. Killed Ethiopia. Oh, we can see Funge now. And their protectorate, which just kind of appears out of nowhere. I don't know what the deal with is with that, but yeah, whatever. The immortals are killing Cumania. Do something with our dudes. Northern dudes rather important for us right now. I got a lot of money. Ooh, a boundary dispute. Oh well, obviously I'll take the I'll take the claim over losing uh, stability. It does mean I can't get a mission to take that, which would be nice. But hey, whatever. Really, though, I'd rather have the Immortals take this junk than me. I suppose the Oirat are just as likely, although I'll be bordering the Oirat here, so it's not necessarily a... an optimal plan. Now, I need to think about whether I want to be buddies with the Malfi. Uh, they don't hate me for any reason other than being a great power in a different religion, and they are in the Western tech group. If I ever want to westernize, I'm going to need to be friends with somebody who's Western. And they are the closest ones. Shit. I can't afford to be losing stability right now. I want to invest in that tech idea. That, that idea in general. So that's the claim of the province that I just took anyway. It doesn't really matter, since I was already trying to core it. It doesn't affect anything, I don't think. Nope, still coring at the same rate. Okay, um... I think I've still got maximum trade power over here. Pretty much... But I guess I could... Send some more dudes. Divert as much trade as I can to my capital. Now eventually I want to get control of this trade node down here. Aw, oh, boo! <laughs> Our clothes don't look nice. We hate you, king. Or queen. Don't worry, guys. I hate her, too. She's awful. Okay, since... I don't really want to be spending points... Spending any points right now. Let's replace some of our old ships. So 
early Carex and stuff could you use replacing. Cogs, not so much. Um. Oh, right. That does become inconvenient now, doesn't it? Galleons. Here, replace ten ships. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. There we go. And technically these carracks here can be replaced too, but let's work in steps. When you have a glut of money, you don't want to spend any points on buildings. It's a good idea to... Look, we'd be spending points on military buildings. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. It's not, it's not necessarily a bad idea to... Uh, Place your ships anyway. Oh, right. Salt crisis. Rumors are sweeping the country that there has been a shortage in salt production. Although we have tried to quash these rumors, the people are certain that there will be a salt crisis soon. I we'll have to live with this. Production efficiency minus 1%. Covert action. I'll probably get another mission to claim this province, which I will do. Even if the immortals uh, attack them for it. So the humanity is stuck up here now. Hmm. This could get a problem because a lot of these are converted to other religions. Could be an issue if Kurdistan decides to convert. I guess they still have one province that's okay. Now eventually I'm going to start getting missions to uh, incorporate these guys, but I don't really want to do that. Okay, what do we got now? Mission. Jab, take Taraz. See, that's admin power. Um, obviously, I still have a truce with them, but I'll actually get after coring it. I will still have a net gain from doing that. Although I'll want to be taking this province as well if I do so. I'm not sure if that's worth bothering to do. I'm just not going to select a mission right now. Does that rival these guys? I did. Okay. Nope. Oh, one of our advisors dies. And I was hoping for a, uh, a conversion dude. Now, do I? S how long do I still have the missionary zeal for? Sixteen oh six. So at least to get a few things done, maybe. Oh no. Um, looks like my coring won't be done until after that. Okay. Okay.
Well, I guess it, uh, it, it was helping convert that one province. So that's fine. Not maximum with these guys, right? Yep. Uh, let's be buddies with Nepal, I suppose. Gotta be friends with somebody over here. And since I'm gonna be going after Vijayanagar, um, a golden era for culture with peace in our country, the great musicians, artists, and poets are rejoicing in the capabilities of entertaining their betters. The era of cultural enlightenment is definitely improving the mood of the Persian Empire. This is great. Get five prestige. Cool. Sounds like a stability thing to me, but I'm not going to complain. Getting a lot of money. Let's keep building these military buildings. Let's keep building them. Yeah, how far ahead am I on military tech? Five years? That's fine. Yeah, it's 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 worth more to spend the points on infrastructure right now. Oh. Um Oh, I already have the highest level fort I can there. I still need to build these in some provinces. I don't particularly care right now though. And these, it'll take longer to... Well, actually, no. It might... It'll probably take less time to build the fort and then convert it. It only takes a year to build a fort. Uh, but because these are Sunni, and these are tight... Uh, two, uh... Patrick of Lancaster, so. Got another British emperor. I don't even know if I really want to take that province. I guess what I'm doing is I'm waiting for the Immortals to do something. Arabia's tells us of civil war. Nor the first's continuous scheming and plotting has infuriated the nobles and made Nor some powerful enemies among the aristocracy. It won't take long before whispers and rumors of plots to end the misrule return into reality and our nation will be plunged into a drawn-up power struggle. It's pretty unpleasant events, actually. Doesn't really affect me. Knockman. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh. The legacy of inviting that one Jewish guy. That name was put on our list. <laughs> cool. Let's save some money. Because, uh... Well, no, I guess not. I'm going to be building forts for a while. doesn't really matter where I build them. I don't think this is affecting my force limit yet. Not any more than, you know, taking a bunch of provinces did. But eventually it will. Oh, hey, Samarkand. Because it's a flat amount, it doesn't actually affect anything to put it in a province. But uh, I like putting them in adjacent provinces because of the recruitment cost thing. So that, I mean, you can just build an army in a big area. And putting them, getting them closer to your borders is a good idea. You can build units closer to where you're doing stuff. Very logical kind of progression there. I suppose I should... <laughs> actually organize those fleets properly, but I don't really care. Oh, my general died. 
Merchants complain. Hmm. Merchants of the better sort are complaining how the government's insistence on favoring the aristocracy is hurting their interests. It's in no pay, no gain. Lose some trade efficiency and gain in prestige. I mean, they can help get some trade efficiency. And that one, that's fine. I'm not planning on building any cavalry anytime soon. And 10% cost for cavalry, not a big deal. Although it does increase the maintenance, it's fine. I guess it makes horses more expensive. And unfortunately, although I did get a mission, or a claim on this province, the mission is for the other province. Crush Uzbek! I like that. All I have to do is be at war with them? Pff, done. I like that. Yay. <laughs> I can I can take a mission to take Taraz now. I at least want to take Uzkin though. I can let the Oirat take any of the provinces over here. You know what? I could make them release dudes, can't I? Yeah. Let's go ahead and and killify them. I did just delay my core construction, but I don't really care. It's fine. Give me some interesting stuff to do. And then after this, I guess I'll call it a session. Although, I'm getting close to that admin power uh, thing, which will unlock an idea. I'm still about a hundred away. Maybe we'll wait for that. That seems like a decent plan. Ah, oh. Blame the Shabanu. I'm not even going to increase that stability. Whatevs. Actually. Oh, let's not have dudes standing around in provinces. There. If you're gonna attach, attach that guy, yep. Siege of Uzkend is over. I suppose since I have the mission, I can get the mission to take Taraz. I really should do what the game is telling me to do. And it's not going to make my borders look any worse than taking that province, either. I'm not taking this province, though. Alright, looks like that's my... my war score right there. Okay, so I'll take Taraz. I could take Uzkend. Do have a claim on it. Don't want to spend any more diplo or admin power than I need to. And this is another two province. That'll cost me 30 to core it. And I don't really have enough guys to spread out over, over these provinces even evenly. Plus it'll give me a reason to attack them later. So I'll just take one province from them. I guess I'll make them release somebody. What about Siberia? Sure. Sure, that's fine. Complete my mission. Give enough admin power to core this province with an actual gain of power. I could have spent uh, those points to to uh, get some 
claim our rival's province. I don't want to. Well, I guess it's free. It's 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 free. Uh... Three points. The question is, where are the where there. Do anything about what the Oirat get here? They were with Manchu too, which is probably going to distract them. So I got a pretty good chance of completing this. I need to do something with my diplomats. All right. Um. Well, since I'm probably going to end the session here, since I've got that tech. Uh, should I be buddies with the Malfi also? I, if I'm ever going to westernize, I'll need to do that. The fact that we're in the Ottoman tech group means it's not going to affect the fact that we're that we're civilized or not in Vicky 2. I'm still pretty much on par mil uh, tech-wise with the people over here, although that's going to pull away later. Um... I suppose it seems like people would want me to stay in the Ottoman tech group to make things harder, but if I ever want to have that option open, I'm going to want a friend who's in, in the uh, the Western tech group, and I guess they are the closest option. I'm not getting any missions to do anything with the war kids, so it's not helping me out any. Uh, and most importantly, I don't have an idea slot. I'm leaning towards a military. Uh, or Diplo thing, since admin points are kind of precious to me right now. Although, it, you know, whatever. Um, I'm leaning towards offensive or either trade or expansion. Exploration is something that really has a limited amount of use for me. Expansion is especially valuable because it allows me at the maximum level to uh, get a permanent causes bill on the people in Asia. Which I kind of don't need because I have the uh, the Holy War, I guess. So I suppose I don't need that. Uh, it also gives me merchants. I I really do want to, since I'm kind of at a trade hub, I do want to do something about merchants. And this gives me one. This this one will give me two and does as a much more close focus on trade, uh, but it also gives me things like diplomatic relations, additional diplomats, uh, well, the diplomatic relations and, and uh, diplomatic reputation, I should say. It doesn't give me any more diplomats. Um, it'll give me colonists, settler increase, that sort of thing. Um, exploration will get me over to Australia, basically. We're going to set up a colony there, which is not a bad idea. And, uh, yeah. Permanent causes belly against pagans. Not useful, considering that we already have a permanent causes belly against them with a holy war. Uh, so let me know what you think. I like offensive, but defensive is fine, and, you know, pretty much any of these ideas. The only one I'm not looking at is naval ideas. Not too focused on navy right now. Uh, and I think we'll save admin for the next one. So, I will see you next time on Let's Play Europa Universalist 4, and uh, let me know what you think.